There was a time where RPGs ruled and because there were so many, some of them are forgotten and lost, leaving fans wondering why. This is the case with a game called Brave Fencer Musashi, also known as Brave Fencer The Legend of Musashi. <laughs> This game is a single player RPG published by Squaresoft in 1998 for the original PlayStation. This game follows Musashi, a young swordsman with a short temper who is actually a reincarnation of the legendary Brave Fencer Musashi whom had saved the kingdom from the Wizard of Darkness 150 years before. Musashi is summoned by Princess Philip and tasked with defending the kingdom from the Thirst Quencher Empire. Musashi is given the blade Fusion and is charged with obtaining Brave Fencer's sword known as Lumina, the Sword of Luminescence. To defeat the Empire, Musashi must search for five scrolls that each hold an elemental power for Lumina. The game has mini games and puzzles that must be completed to advance the plot. As mentioned before, you get to use two swords, the Blade Fusion and the Lumina. The Blade Fusion is a katana sword that allows you to do combo attacks and can be used to absorb bincho energy or an enemy's skill. Lumina is a large double-edged sword that gains more power with the scrolls that you find. Brave Fencer Musashi's character design and illustrations come from Tetsuya Nomura, a video game artist, designer, and director for Square who still works with them since 1991 and has done work for so many games. The composition was done by Tsuyoshi Sekito, who's also been at Square for a long time with work on games and even films. In Japan, Brave Fencer Musashi sold over 600,000 copies in 1998. The game was positively received. The North American version of Brave Fencer Musashi also included a separate disc containing a playable demo of Final Fantasy VIII. The game was re-released on June 29, 2000 as part of Square's Millennium Collection along with several different merchandise. The road to perfection is fraught with unexpected twists. A true samurai sees them not as obstacles, but as opportunities. Summoned by a princess to rescue her people from a tyrant and his minions, Musashi stands ready to prove he's the right guy for the job. With the success of the first game, a sequel was eventually released in 2005 as Musashi Samurai Legend for the PlayStation 2. Waiting this long to drop a sequel has not always been good for video game franchises as the fans tend to move on. In Samurai Legend, you play as Musashi once again, still using a katana and broadswords, and Musashi can gain enemy abilities and use them just like before. This game is faster and visually better than the first game. Musashi Samurai Legend has a comic book style adventure that combines Japanese animation with balloon dialogues. In the story, Musashi is summoned by the new princess Micella, just like the previous game and has been kidnapped by the villain Gandrake. This time, it's not five scrolls but five maidens whom help Musashi power up his sword with help from a martial artist named Mew. Unfortunately, fans did not seem too happy with this sequel. The game received mixed reviews as it was praised for its graphics, character designs, and style, but was criticized for its voiceovers, combat, movement, and camera system. Musashi Samurai Legends sold almost 58,000 copies during the week of its release in Japan. By the end of 2005, it sold over 91,000 copies. The game also did not sell too well outside of Japan, which led to the series being on hold ever since. There was also a Japanese-only mobile phone game, Musashi Mobile Samurai, that was also released in 2005. Although the titles share the Musashi franchise name, the sequel and mobile phone game both had little to do with the original title. It also did not help the series out that only Brave Fencer was re-released and only in Japan's PSN in 2008. In fact, the last time we heard about Brave Fencer Musashi was simply a video from Square Enix celebrating the 20th anniversary of Brave Fencer. 
Musashi is named after the famous Japanese swordsman Musashi Miyamoto. He was Japan's most famous and most skilled swordsman. It is thought that he participated in at least 60 duels and was never defeated. He is also the author of the Book of Five Rings, The Strategy of the Samurai. With the success of so many best-selling game series that Square Enix has, and the fact that the fan base may not be as big as with other games, it is very likely that this game may never see a revival. But what do you think? Would you like to see Musashi series revived? What other game series do you miss and hope returns? Let us know what you think in the comments below and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoy content like this at Game Circle TV.